record. They were designed for convenience, to stream live video, search the internet with just your voice. But AI-powered glasses are now offering new hope and access to the blind. We got a chance to see how it all works and how it's still a work in progress. Meet Emmeline LeCrount, a busy New Yorker who rock climbs, swims, and runs. Mom! She leads an active lifestyle despite being declared legally blind at the age of eight. You don't really let anything slow you down, do you? <laughs> no. <laughs> How important has it been that you've become so comfortable with technology? It's everything. To keep functioning and to keep working and keep living my life, it's very important that I'm savvy uh, and adaptable on, on a daily basis. One of her newest tools, Meta's AI glasses. Meta created the glasses to stream video on the go and use AI to interact with the world around you. But some people in the blind community have found new ways to use them. To demonstrate the promise of this technology, oh, LaCrout lets hey, our Meta. cameras follow her for a day. Hey Meta, call Be My Eyes. Be My Eyes is a free app that connects visually impaired users with more than 9 million global volunteers. Hello? For our demonstration, Be My Eyes directed LaCrout's calls to Bart Steinhorn, who volunteers in his free time from his office. So I have some mail here, and I'm wondering if you could just help me sort through junk mail and real mail. Sure, I can help you with that. With the glasses, it's like he can see through her eyes. This is from a company called Amica. Okay, I don't know what that is. It doesn't feel glossy or anything, so I'm going to put it separately. I'll look at that one after. Then she uses AI to read her mail. Hey, Meta. Look. The brochure appears to be from an insurance company. Read the entire document. Life doesn't come with guarantees, but we do. Okay. And she even gets an assist oh, yeah, grocery shopping. Okay. okay, those are all fruits. Ooh, I might get some watermelon. So go to okay. your left, and I believe you'll find, yeah. After she checks out, AI reads her receipt. The total was $70.08. On the subway, the AI helps her find her train. But then she hits a snack. Oh, no, She's buffering, hang on. And runs out of batteries. When LaCrout meets me at a restaurant, the glasses help her read a menu. Hey Meta, can you list the main courses? Main courses listed on the menu are short rib burger, tuna crispy rice, caviar lobster rolls. But there are glitches. Look at this menu and tell me the price for the short rib burger. I can't help with requests about product. Oh man. Would you say that these glasses and this technology is giving you more independence? Blind people have fought for their independence for decades. Um, and the technology maybe isn't enabling that. But what the glasses do is they make things so much easier, they make things faster, and they also expand opportunities. Wearable technology that uh, includes opportunities for blind people to get access to information is a huge win for blind people. Mark Riccobono is the president of the National Federation of the Blind. You've used the glasses. How have you found them? Works well for some things, doesn't work well in other situations, and it's still evolving. We know it's going to get better based on the lived experience of blind people. As for LaCrout, she believes the AI glasses give her a new level of freedom. It makes things that used to be super impractical now totally reasonable and, and much more within the field of view for me. I mean, Meta's not the only company out there doing this type of thing, but that particular pair was 279 bucks. But you know the part where she said, ah, oh, it ran out of battery? Yeah. So Meta actually, uh, they, they launched a new version of it this week, and they say it has two times the life in terms of the battery of that one. It's amazing. And I know she said that, you know, already people that were blind were already looking for their independence and had it. And this is just sort of giving them a, another tool. But it feels like it's going to knock down barriers for so many people. It's just really cool to see how it can work and how easy it can make some of that. Absolutely. I mean, AI, I know some folks think it can be scary, but this is a nice This is thing. a good. This is yeah. a good, yeah.